Well, you can't smoke in restaurants, you can't smoke in state buildings, and soon tighter restrictions may preclude you from lighting up on college campuses. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard live at the University of Illinois Springfield. Kimberly, what's the policy there? Vince, right now students and staff can smoke in designated smoking areas like this one. Now, all of these areas are outside and they're all at least 15 feet from any entrances. But should this initiative pass, at least in its strictest form, then smoking of any kind would be banned from campus. I wouldn't ban this smoking completely on campus because it's not right. There are non-smokers who oppose it. We're outside, we're good. They're good. Smokers who support it. I agree with it. Smoking's gross. The only thing I don't agree with is the parking lots are included. And everything in between. Right now, the university does not have um, a take. Um, the, the bottom line is that's what the chancellor is just asking to, to give it a look because more and more state universities are looking at it. The University Chicago campus has already put smoking out. The state's flagship university in Urbana-Champaign will be smoke-free come January 1st. So the question becomes, what will happen at UIS? Leave our current policy, tweak our current policy, or go completely tobacco-free or something in between. Students, faculty, and staff are being urged to fill out an online survey. I just find it shocking that you can smoke on a public university campus. Some had no trouble making up their mind. I think you should, just because I think you should be consistent. I mean, the three schools should be one unit, so I think laws should be the same on all three campuses. But here's the problem. UIS is relatively closed off. The university owns all of this property, so smokers like UIS food service worker Candy Tucker wouldn't even be able to light up in the car. We'll have to drive off campus. We'll probably have to clock out also. Tucker says there are already petitions going around against the ban as the survey works its way from online to the hands of theater goers and sports fans who frequent UIS. Now the first time the community can weigh in on this will actually be on Friday when Foreigner performs here at the Sangamon Auditorium. They'll be heading out the surveys then. If you get the Sangamon Auditorium newsletter, you can weigh in that way and they'll also be handing them out at some sporting events. After they compile all of that information, we should know the verdict come February. Live at UIS, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20.